As part of a summer-long celebration of turning 40, Portsmouth International Port is hosting an exhibition as a tribute to the decade during which it was built, the 70s. Roger Pratt started working for Brittany Ferries in 1978, only a couple of years after the port opened. And he tells us what changes he has seen in that time. Oh, massive changes, considering the size of the port, uh, what it is today to what it was back in those days, uh, in 78, 80. Uh, the ships are much bigger. You know, uh, if you consider the Armourique, the original Armourique was a ship that could take 125 cars to ships we have now where you can take 600 cars. Um, gives you the scale of the changes that have happened with the size and quality of the ships. Um, and the port has expanded to meet those uh, those size of ships. The exhibition takes visitors through a timeline of the port's evolution, as well as celebrating some design icons of the 70s, from a soda siphon to a typical shopping bag and even a mini, which visitors assured me was in much better condition than the minis they owned back then. The port started with obviously just one berth and four acres, and now 44 acres and five berths, and the ships have all changed and the terminals changed. And everything obviously 40 years is a long, quite a long time, but it's all very modern and, and uh, uh, quite a luxurious way to travel these days. What sets Portsmouth International Port apart from others in the country is that it was built and is still owned by the city council. Not only is this rare, but municipally owned ports tend to be quite small, whereas Portsmouth is one of the largest and most successful in England and Wales. Uh, this was built 40 years ago, back in 1976, and it was actually built then by the council. And I'm pleased to say that Portsmouth City Council still owns Portsmouth International Port today. It is the busiest and most successful municipal port in the UK. So the benefit to local people of Portsmouth International Ferry Port is the fact it's creating hundreds of jobs and actually boosting the local economy to the tunes of tens of millions of pounds per year. It's a win-win all round. The exhibition is open for the rest of the summer and it will be one of the many events organised to mark the port's 40th birthday over the coming weeks. This is Stephanie Bosset for That's Solent.